Nearly all of Governor Andy Bashir's almost two years in office have been dominated by the pandemic. The governor says the state has managed to make a lot of progress, however, in that time. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with LEX 18's political reporter, Carolina Buchek, the governor talked about the bright future he sees ahead for the state. To over 100,000 men and women. Almost two full years after his inauguration, Governor Andy Bashir still remembers how he wanted to start his time in office. Certainly coming in uh, with big hopes and big dreams. But about three months after this moment at the steps of the Capitol, COVID-19 hit Kentucky. This first confirmed case. So plans had to be set aside. But despite the pandemic, the governor tells LEX 18 that Kentucky has made big economic progress over the past two years. I am thrilled. I'm not sure I have an adjective that can describe uh, how truly excited I am. Uh, by the end of this month, I believe we'll shatter every single economic development record. We are already way over uh, the annual record for total investment in the Commonwealth. We'll certainly hit $11 billion when we average four to six billion a year. So we hear, you know, these big figures coming in, these big companies making large announcements, but for the average Kentucky family, what does all of this mean? It means more options, uh, better pay, and the security of knowing that the, the job that, that you're going to take is going to be around for the next 40 years. The governor says so far in 2021, companies have committed to creating almost 16,000 full-time jobs in the coming years. And he says Kentucky's average incentivized hourly wage is a little more than $24. That's before benefits. That's a 10% increase over the last year. So more jobs and higher wages are a good thing, but there's another work-related problem Kentucky is currently facing a workforce shortage. There are more jobs than workers. How do we fix this workforce problem first? But the overall answer is we have to be innovative. We got to look at new ways to attract workers and create community in the workplace. But the governor says having a lot of jobs is not a bad problem to have. If we go back to March of 2020 and April of 2020, and we would have told ourselves then that our economy in a year and a half would roar back so much we'd have more jobs than people. We would have said, deal, I will take that challenge. And the governor says all of this economic growth is possible because of the strides Kentucky has made in fighting COVID-19. In less than one year, 61% of Kentuckians have been vaccinated and the state is above the national average when it comes to booster shots. But the governor says that's still not enough. So I won't be satisfied until this thing is done and that nobody is dying from it. So there's work left to do in 2022. In Lexington, Carolina Butrek, LXCT News.